so uh, in this module i will talk about the hybrid advantages of a no sql solution hybrid means that it is a combination of different things for example if you say it's a hybrid car it means it is running on petrol and on electricity also that is hybrid or running on compressed natural gas that is a hybrid so we are talking about the hybrid no sql features now uh, a problem can be solved using different approaches or different data structures so to say for example a problem uh, might be solved using uh, a key linking feature uh, it can be solved using uh, triples or a document based solution or a big table based solution so there are number of ways of solving a problem and of course uh, if we have this uh, key value based feature that has that supports indexing and of course the, the document model also supports indexing so what the time the point i'm trying to make over here is that uh, no sql is already hybrid but of course one has to do things in a formal way in certain way that hybrid uh, ability and the features are used properly okay and what are those features and what do we need to look at them so that is the purpose of this module so let's first look at the module coverage uh the the first point which i'll be discussing in this module coverage is the death of the polyglot persistence death of the so what is that i will i will cover this and advantages of the hybrid approach of course i will talk about it and one thing which is very obvious that of course if it's a single product it will it 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 the overhead the maintenance will be less also and all those things so let's go into more details because what you can see on the screen uh, or uh, or without going to a lot of depth that could not be showing you the entire picture so let's go ahead what is polyglot persistence polyglot persistence means that i have a complex problem and i divide that problem into segments and i use uh, different data models to uh, address the parts of the problem for those different segments and then i aggregate the solution and then i have the final solution with a no sql which has four different types of data structures okay there is there's no need to have polyglot persistence that is already supported so that is what is meant by the death of polyglot persistence so one product many features so one if if i have a single product which has lots and lots of features then of course i need to train people on one product okay and i need to have the people that are working that are developing in a single environment and of course i don't have to do the plumbing uh, plumber coding plumber coding is how do i connect different parts of the code together because that has already been done by the vendor who is providing the solution now the question is that best of the breed or a single best of the breed is that means that i have the best solution okay and a single solution may not have all the solutions to the different domains in which i want to apply it of very high quality okay so there is a limit there is a limit between when i need a single solution kind of a jack of all trade or i need multiple solution so you as a trusted advisor knows where is that boundary where you shift from the boundary of a single uh, jack of all trade kind of a solution to multiple solutions each one of them is a unique or best solution single strategic technology stack implements a single data layer to power all your applications okay as an it professional you probably unknowingly been using relational database management system to do this but no sql means there is no upfront schema design then is the common indexes and no duplication storing a single index rather than having an index of the same data in multiple products is advantages storing a document in an enterprise content management system or platform means indexings are held in an rdbms similarly more real time data through the stack fewer moving parts because indexes are updated as information is added to a hybrid no sql document database and search engine pure indexes as well as nearly real time indexes are produced or at least they are transactionally consistent 
and finally easy administration fewer moving parts database admins need to be absolute expert on the systems they manage and of course instead of having multiple people multiple experts of a domain you have a single domain expert and with the moving parts i believe you understand what a moving part is so with a single product the costs are lower less integration costs because you don't have to integrate different things from different vendors that has already been integrated from or by the vendor which you buy the product etl extract transform load that takes hum humongous cost okay and when when you have a single product you don't have to connect things you don't have to bring different things into a uniform format okay so there's less etl coding lower software license and other cost instead of buying multiple softwares to do the job and paying multiple license fees you pay upfront fee for a single license of course lower training cost instead of of course it costs more to train people in multiple products than to train in a single product and of course uh, you don't need multiple specialist if you have multiple specialist you have multiple salaries and of course that costs more but if you have a single product then you have a single specialist for which you don't have to pay a salary of four people and fewer moving parts search technology and column store as i have already uh, discussed in the slide before that that as the document database in nosql is updated the indexes are also updated in almost real time so that makes the search very relevant and very fresh the real time index all common aggregation alg algorithms are present and if you are not satisfied you can write your own aggregation algorithm in c++ so that is the benefit of hi hybrid nosql now the thing is that everything or every problem cannot be modeled using the relational model you have to look for the uh, for uh, the, the the relationships not based upon the primary key and the and the foreign key but how things are connected so to say for that you need a triple store which is supported by uh, the hybrid approach of the uh, no sql solution but remember that semantic web is not a graph store problem it is not you we have i gave you the examples also okay subject of uh, subject predicate object i gave you the examples also so you, you know what i'm talking about and you can make it more powerful by adding in which context the search was made because the search is not sufficient until it kind of differentiates what you are looking for and if you look at the prior search results and integrate them that is going to help you present those results based upon which people were differentiating using the same or similar keywords which you have used now and of course you can have a combination of this uh, document database of nosql with the triple store which will reap the benefits of both data structures and it will be a powerful hybrid solution that is all i have for this module